yes welcome to our demonstration video of a multiple outlet adjustable flow button drip irrigation system our crop today is pumpkin and we are we have just set up an irrigation system for 15 acres in uganda in Mbarara district yeah we are going to talk about uh, the main components and how um, a multiple outlet adjustable flow button drip irrigation system works this is our multiple outlet because it has many outlets about eight adjustable flow where you can adjust flow button drip irrigation system so we have a um, blank tube we punch a hole using a, a, a punching tool and we insert this emitter the hole should be uniform it's good for it to be uniform to prevent leakage of water through a hole punched so why we call it adjustable flow is that you can you can screw it out so here you can increase the flow the more you screw it out the more flow you get and the, the more spray you get uh, the, uh, the more distance covered from the meter itself however um, this kind of flow can cause uh, soil cracking so it is better or it is good to put some mulch but it also depends on the kind of soil and how long the irrigation will take so you can adjust or you can reduce the flow actually you can create a drip just like this or you can even decrease so depending on the crop type and the soil type you can adjust flow to a rate you wish to have can drip like this just like that now you can take a few minutes to complete an irrigation depending on the stage of the crop for example here just about 20 minutes and you're done valve controls this block we have several valves as many as uh, 32 in our in our garden today um, so here our valves is open and we can close it but you have to close slowly slowly to avoid side pressure or high pressure and to prevent water hammering in the pipes say that the fitting can stand the test of time okay um we have these two main valves this controls uh, the lower block this one controls the lower block we have two blocks this one controls the lower block this one controls the upper block so we have opened one for the upper block and we have closed one of the lower block. This is the half This is the 10,000 liters. This is our inlet. Later we shall see our water source. Uh, there is a drill borehole some 250 meters away. And there is a, a solar water system down there that we shall see later. Yes, this is our air lead valve to prevent air lock in the, in, the, in the system and remove air. This is our filter. It is a screen filter. 
we are prepared to use a screen filter for some reason it is easy to clean it doesn't clog easily and depending on the quality of your water uh, that dictates the mesh let me see let me see if i can get here how water is, is, is feeding into the tank Yes, our solar system is pumping water up to here. Uh, water is filling inside. It's filling into the tank. This is our first tank. Our second tank and the third tank. And our garden down there and our water source is just down there yes these are the solar panels uh, that powers uh, a solar water pump down in the borehole that we are going to see and our garden is up there some 250 meters from here we have seen our solar panels, the lightning arrestor. So this is inside the camping house. Uh, and this was a drill borehole. We have our ground force solar water pump down in the borehole. We have this wire taking power to the pump, a pressure gauge. Um, and it can valve flash or testing valve road valve um, this is a, a copper tape that draws the high current in case there is a lightning here we have cables one of the cable from the pump then connect to the switch and we have uh, this is a switch that switches off the pump and on. This is off. This is on. So um, that is our cable bringing power from the panel to the PV array or this isolator. Then connects to the switch and switch to the pump.